This morning I'm going to read about Mercury. It's prevalent in my birth chart and when Dale was flipping through this book a couple days ago he pointed out this picture and it's really beautiful. It's a it's a picture of Mercury. It's a bronze statue of the god Mercury and I'll include a photo of it. Um, there are several passages here for Mercury so I'm curious about this. So here we go. The first one is Mercuric Chloride Bichloride of Mercury or corrosive sublimate HgCl2, a compound of mercury and chlorine. It is prepared usually by sublimation, C distillation, from a mixture of mercuric sulfate and sodium chloride. Mercuric chloride is a white powder melting at 276 degrees Celsius, 529 degrees Fahrenheit, soluble in hot water and organic solvents. It is poisonous if taken internally, but is considerably used in medicine as an external antiseptic and antiparasitic agent. In industry, it is used in dyeing and in photography. It is also employed in embalming, disinfecting, electroplating, tanning, and for various other purposes. Okay, next passage is mercury or quicksilver. A metallic element, atomic number 80, atomic weight 200.61, symbol HG. It was known in ancient times as liquid silver and was studied by the alchemists. It was first distinguished as an element by the French chemist Anton Lavoisier, L-A-V-O-I-S-I-E-R, and then in parentheses QV. I'm not sure what that stands for. In his classical experiment on the composition of air, mercury, the only metal that is liquid at ordinary temperatures, is the heaviest liquid substance known. It is a shining mobile liquid, silver white in color. It has a density of 13.55 MP-38.9 degrees Celsius, parentheses, negative 38 degrees Fahrenheit and BP 356.9 degrees Celsius, parentheses 674 degrees Fahrenheit. It is slightly volatile at ordinary temperatures. The poisonous effect of mercury vapor is a serious health hazard to workers who may inhale it. Mercury becomes solid when subjected to a pressure of 7,640 atmospheres and this pressure is used as a standard in measuring extremely high pressures. The metal dissolves in nitric or concentrated sulfuric acid, but is resilient to alkalis. Mercury occurs native or combined with silver in small amounts, but is found most often in the form of the sulfide, the ore cinnabar. To obtain the metal from cinnabar, the ore is roasted with air and the gases produced are passed through a condensing system in which the mercury is collected. Mercury is used in thermometers because its coefficient of expansion is nearly constant, i.e. the change in volume for each degree of rise or fall in temperature is the same. It is also used in other types of scientific apparatus, such as vacuum pumps, barometers, and electric rectifiers and switches. Mercury vapor lamps are used as a source of ultraviolet rays in homes and for sterilizing drinking water and swimming pool water. Mercury vapor is used instead of steam in the boilers of some turbine engines. Mercury combines with all the common metals except iron and platinum to form alloys called amalgams. An amalgam of silver, gold, and tin is used in dental fillings. In one method of extracting gold and silver from their ores, the precious metals are combined with mercury to form an amalgam, from which the mercury is easily removed by distillation. Mercury forms monovalent and divalent compounds. Among the commercially important compounds of mercury are mercuric sulfide, used as the pigment vermilion, mercurous chloride or calomel, used for electrodes, corrosive sublimate or mercuric chloride, and medicinals such as mercurochrome. A recently discovered antidote for mercury poisoning is the drug British anti-lewisite called BAL. 
Okay, next passage. Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system and the planet closest to the sun. Its mean distance from the sun is approximately 36 million miles. Its diameter is 3,012 miles. Its volume and mass are about 1 18th that of the earth and so its density is approximately equal to that of the earth. According to the most accurate determinations available, the time consumed by a complete revolution of the planet about the sun and the time consumed by the rotation of the planet about its own axis are both 88 days. I love all the eights. The albedo or reflecting power of the planet is low. The planet absorbs approximately 93% of the sunlight falling on it. The proximity of the planet to the sun makes observation of the surface markings difficult because the glare of the sunlight interferes during the day and the planet is very low in the sky during darkness. Spectroscopic studies indicate that there is little or no atmosphere surrounding Mercury. Calculations show that the force of gravity on the surface of Mercury is only about one-third as great as on Earth's surface, too low to hold an atmosphere. The temperature of the surface of Mercury exposed to the sun is approximately 300 degrees Celsius, 572 degrees Fahrenheit. The dark side is probably very cold. At the time of a transit of Mercury, when the planet passes directly between the Earth and the sun, the planet appears as a small black disk and can be observed only with a telescope. The perihelion, the point closest to the sun, in the orbit of Mercury moves eastward at a very slow rate. This motion could not be accounted for by calculations based on classical mechanics. The explanation of the motion of the orbit according to relativistic concepts was one of the first triumphs of the theory of relativity. Okay, here's the next entry. Mercury. In Roman religion, the god of merchants and of trading, especially of trading in grain, his worship was introduced at Rome as a result of trade with the Etruscans or the Greeks, and a temple was first dedicated. We're on pages 5672, 5673, and I'm getting ready to go to 5674. Okay, and a temple was first dedicated to him in 495 B.C. near the Circus Maximus. His main festival was celebrated annually on May 15th. Mercury was popularly identified with the Greek god Hermes. The resemblance between the two deities is slight, however, and the identification was not recognized by the important college of high-born priests called the, and I'm not going to try to pronounce this one, F-E-T-I-A-L-E-S. And that's it for the passages on Mercury. There's only one photo here, so that is all that will be in this, and this was interesting. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Sincerest Kimba, I hope you have a wonderful day.